Conscious Horse, Conscious Rider. This is the first in a series of episodes that will broaden both your perspective and your relationship with your horse. Throughout this unique TV series, you'll watch horse whisperer Gary Douglas work with various horse owners who have issues and problems with their horses at clinics held around the world. Owners will develop a new understanding and awareness of techniques to deal with their horses and gain a new perspective in understanding how their horses perceive the world. What would it be like if you knew your horse was conscious? This program will offer you tools and techniques to help you with being a better rider, get better results with your horse, and give your horse more comfort and the ability to move and use himself. You'll see some hands-on processes that will help you be a better rider and have a better relationship with your horse. The horse exhibits rearing and bucking behavior. He also appears disconnected when being handled, making his owner fearful when working with him. She has actually never ridden her gelding due to his behavior and her fear. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Whoa. Okay. All right, so notice how he doesn't pay any attention to me. Okay, you got to get him to the point where he starts to pay attention to you. All right, the way you start to do that is you start to pull energy from the horse. Okay, come here. Whoa, whoa. Back. 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 Hey. Hey, pay attention to me. Come here. Whoa. Whoa. Back. 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 No. Pay attention to me. Come here. Back. 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 Gary feels his zone may be collapsed and his immune system may be compromised. Gary also suspects as a result of the gelding's behavior that he may have an entity. Gary lunges the horse to look for abnormalities in his movement and leg action and observe the horse's behavior. Canter. No, 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 no. No. Canner. Canner. No. Yep. Canner. 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 Canter. No. No. Canter. Canter. Thank you. Good boy. Okay, now, all right, so why am I doing this? Well, trying to get his attention, but the other thing is, he doesn't have any connection to you, okay? He's not doing connection to the, to the person. He's like got his attention on horses. He's got his attention on anything else except you. And you got to work them on the ground to get them to the point where they pay enough attention to you. Come here. All right, so let's, let's look at his zone here. Okay, is his zone collapsed? Yes? No? What do you get? Yes. Okay, so it's like, so what I want to do with him is I want to, pull his zone out so that he gets more connected. The zone is a place in the horse where there is a sense of peace. Peace is actually a natural state for animals. When you find the zone of the horse you're working with, you could actually create or tap into a place of peace with them. When you find the zone, 
you create a connection with the animal. Every horse has a zone of awareness, and this zone is different for each animal. For a stallion who thinks it's his job to protect the herd, he may have a zone that is 18 miles in all directions. If you're going to ride a stallion, you may have to occupy the same amount of space that it needs to occupy in order for it to feel safe. When you ride a horse in the zone, you discover a place in the horse where everything is level and peaceful. You'll know when the horse is going to act up before he acts up. All right, now the other thing I wanna do is I wanna work on this horse's immune system. Because injuries oftentimes occur from the immune system. The immune system is worked on here from the jaw. Okay, here, let's move him over here so people can see. Whoa. Whoa. Very interesting. Yes. Okay. Hey, pay attention to me, will you? Me. Okay, so it's done here on the jaw, here on this indentation on the neck. Then it will be done on the, the in the middle of the ribs here and on the kidneys. Okay? And when you do that, what it does is it starts to rev up the immune system of the horse so that they can take better care of themselves. Reduces the number of injuries they have reduces the amount of food they need, and starts to get their coat shinier and healthier. Okay? So, how about a couple of volunteers to do this? Okay, come on in. I'll teach you whatever. Okay? All right. Uh, let's just do uh, two, because this horse is just a little bit on the nervous side here, okay, and here at the same time. Okay, there you go. All right. Jason, you want to hold him? Okay, all right. And if you'll do this side, okay. All right, right there and right there. And this is MTVSS and all the rest. Put your thumb under his chin there. Thank you. MTVSS and all the rest. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock all nine, pot and pock all nine, pot and pock all nine, pot and pock all nine. There we go. You feel that energy running? Cool. All right. Did you feel you're starting to run already? Okay. And if you put this down just a little bit farther, right in that indentation of the neck there, perfect. MTVSS is often the tool of choice for undoing almost any way the body is malfunctioning. It can have a major effect on the immune system, especially when done on the joints. MTVSS can undo ways that animal bodies have been altered to malfunction throughout all time, space, dimensions, and realities. He's a baby. Okay, walk him around a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so one of the one of the things one of the things that uh, with the gelding, okay, and this is a gelding, yes. With the gelding, the one thing you want to know is that the way that the way that stallions and and geldings work, okay is you have to be more quick than them. It's like their whole way of doing life is about slap hands. Who's quicker? So you want to, before he does this, okay, now you're, okay, your zone is very small here. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to feel the zone in his head and I want you to make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Good. Now pull energy from the ground up through his body. Pull energy through from the ground through his body. You can calm him because you'll feel the static in his head and you can expand your awareness out into the zone. In the process of expanding your awareness, you calm the horse and eliminate the blow up or problem. When you're not in the zone, you project thoughts, feelings and emotions at the horse. They receive your projections, and it feels to them like those things are actually going on. 
If you have the viewpoint that something's going to go wrong, for example, the horse will think, what's wrong? What am I missing? And it will get fearful. They're looking for the zone in which everything is peaceful. They're looking for communion, connection, and knowingness. Being in the zone with your horse can open the door to a totally new way of riding and relating to your horse. You may also find that in the process of being in the zone, you have a more expanded reality. Okay, feel him starting to calm? Okay, this is another example of that thing of pulling the energy through their body. When you pull that energy from the ground and through their body and you make that zone big enough, then their nervousness will tend to go away. No! Okay, you need to yell at him, okay? Every time he starts to misbehave, yell at him, no. Okay, you got to be quicker than him. When he, he, did you feel him start to do that before he did it? Okay, that's the point at which you pull the zone out. Okay, and you yell no before he does it. So that he stops that because if he gets away with that enough times, he's becoming a dangerous horse with that. Horse that rears like that is dangerous to your health. Are you nervous? Okay, so everything that's creating that, we destroy and uncreate it all. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. Okay, and let's take all the projections and expectations that are on him about being a bad horse. All the projections and expectations on you. Can we destroy and uncreate all that? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And everything that, you know... No! 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 Okay, so does he have an entity in him? Yes, apparently so. Entities. If an animal is misbehaving or behaving in a way not typical of the breed, you can expect an entity. When you have no reason to have a problem and it keeps showing up, it's oftentimes an entity that is creating the behavior or injury. What is an entity? Anything that has defined itself as something that has kept that form of itself in existence and taken over the animal's body or is hanging around in the animal's space. The entity chooses to be there, and once removed, it does not come back. We do not have an answer as to why entities take on a different body. That they do is seen in the number of animals that show up with entities. The process to remove entities is to perceive the energy of the entities, as questions are asked in reference to the present, the past, and the future. This first gets the attention of the entities, then brings an awareness of being in the past, which brings to their attention they are no longer stuck in this time and are free to choose to move on with the awareness of a future. Okay, is this a human entity or another kind? What are you guys getting? Human or other? Other. Okay, good. So, what kind of body did you have before you had this kind of body? Good. What kind of body did you have before that? Thank you. What kind of body did you have before that? What kind of body did you have before that? What kind of body did you have before that? And what kind of body will you have in the future? Okay. And all the magnetic imprinting of that entity in this body. Can we destroy and uncreate all that, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, meons. Okay? All right? Notice his temperament starting to change. <laughs> That's what happens when you take the entity out. Okay? Different temperament now. Okay? And that's what happens when you have an entity in the horse's body. You get a, you know, it's like you get an obstreperous horse. So my guess is a lot of the stuff you've been experiencing with this horse wanting to buck was that entity wanting to get out. Because when an entity finds out they're in the wrong kind of body, they don't want to be there. And so they will object in a whole lot of ways, and chances are that was what was happening with this guy. All right, anybody noticing any difference in the shine in his coat? Does he look shinier? Okay, is this more like what you would call his personality? Okay, good. So it's like with 
with these, you know, it's like what happens in these clinics, which is very interesting to me, is a lot of times that's when these entities show up. Now, it's interesting because what I'm noticing here is he's walking better in, be, in back. He's starting to reach out more with his back legs. Here, you watch him, okay? Watch him go, okay? See how he's pulling his back feet forward now? Further? Okay, so let's do some other work that will help his legs, okay? All right, so let's let Jason hold him, okay? And I want you to teach you how to do this because this, what you got to do is when you have a horse that has a problem, okay? These locations here are, okay, you do the MTVSS on that location, and what it'll start to do is it starts to create the electrical system. What we want to do also is the restoration of structural integrity and function. The restoration of structural integrity and function at the same time. There we go. Restoration of structural integrity and function is about restoring any place in the body where the structural integrity is not functioning correctly. Hands should be placed on the body wherever the difficulty is occurring. Okay, feel his body calming. Okay, would you like to do the other side? Thank you. Okay, can you all feel the, the energy in his body calming down? Okay. Okay, and let's add one other thing to it. Let's ask, ask for the restoration of communion with earth. The restoration of communion with earth is about restoring communion with the earth. For horses, it is run on the withers and the tail. This process gives horses more of a connection with the earth and less of a sense of it being their body that's having the problem. And they can have more awareness of what's going on with earth. Hearing a lot of gurgling in his stomach. Okay, good. It's a good sign. Okay, he's had about all he wants. Okay, that's the thing. You can always tell when the horse has had all he wants because he'll suddenly stop being letting you give to him. Yeah. Yeah, he's stretching. That's what you want. There you go. Now we're talking. See how his head is down? He's stretching out a little bit. It's not, you know, he's not, uh, he's not feeling the, the, the hold in his back. Notice how his back is starting to move now, where before, see how the saddle's moving? You didn't see that hardly at all before, because he was pretty much stiff. Okay, can we canter? Canter. Yeah, he needs a little bit more work. Whoa, thank you. That was good. Okay, at this point, this is the point at which I would quit working on this particular horse because he's had as much as he can take right now of change. Well, that's a big change from yesterday. That's total unconcern. Yeah, total, total unconcern, total ease with it. And it's like yesterday, it's like I, you know, you, you sensed him up and it's like he went yep. and like, buck, you know, bowed his back. He is not bowing it at all. Cool. Okay. Cool. You haven't been on him ever? Wow, this is cool. Yeah, you can tell he's off, you know, it's like his his he's off in the front end. Well, he's probably off there a little bit. We can do some more energy work and see if we can't heal that. In fact, why don't, uh, you know, if I can get a couple of you in here, I'll have you work while you're on him. Okay, so Linda, you wanna come over here? Okay, and I want you to do the restoration of the electrical systems and the restoration of the structural integrity and function. The restoration of electrical systems is about releasing trauma locked into the body that creates some neuromuscular dysfunction or paralysis. Restoration of electrical systems and restoration of energy systems can release the effects of the trauma and allow electrical currents and energy to flow. For horses with back problems, it's run on the withers and the tail and along the spine. 
Okay, now normally when I try to do this stuff, I try to do it at the pole. But this horse kept saying, no, not the pole. So where he wanted me to touch him was down here under his neck. Now the horse's, the horse's spine actually runs down like this. So it's actually in the bottom half of his neck, it's not in the upper half of his neck. You know, he's actually held in place by the muscles on the top part. And it's not the, it's not the, you know, that's not where his bone structure is. So it's like literally on this particular horse, apparently whatever's wrong with his neck is down some, in, somewhere in this area, not up in here. It's not his occiput that's the problem. Well, the, when we, you know, when we just done did this thing where he was arced out of his body, getting back in a sense of the proprioception of where his body belongs in space may be a little difficult. Okay, and I'm only going to let you ride him for a few more minutes just because I want you to get comfortable and realize, obviously, he is not the killer he has been touted to be. Okay? Huh? Good. Well, he's not feeling real, he's not feeling real secure in himself at the moment. But he's, you know, it's like he is at least calm, which is a good thing. It's a good beginning. So it's like, I think that's a real good beginning for you, I, you know, personally. Because it's like, you know, what you had to get is that you could do this and that he's willing to let you do it and he's going to take care of you, okay? Because he's not willing to do anything that you're not secure with. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> that is great to see. In future episodes, Gary will work with a variety of breeds, owners, and different situations. And viewers will come to understand the value of these techniques in dealing with and understanding horses. Conscious Horse, Conscious Rider. A new paradigm for better equine relationships. <laughs>